Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. It's pretty late, um, but the Lord has given me some things that I need to share with you guys. As you know, with prophecy, every prophecy is not for every person. It's not for everyone. But what I realize that I'm seeing that God is doing through his people right now is getting us in a place to look at our garments. And the garments is our heart and where we are with him. There's a lot of things that's going on in the body of Christ where people are looking at the signs and the wonders and the works and what they're doing, the works of their hands. They're looking at their campuses. They're looking at all these things, their followings. They're looking at the reviews, the great reviews, what people may be saying, the thumbs up, their connections. Um, but they're overlooking practical things you know people are looking at big things miracles and all that they're doing but they're neglecting the basics which is to love one another they're overlooking you know uh the the please and thank you and excuse me and pardon me you know you have a lot of people that's doing a lot of things for god that have very bad manners they are very inconsiderate they have lost the basic things, you know, things that we have learned coming up as children. Excuse me. Thank you. May I? Thank you. I apologize or I'm sorry. You know, there's that prideful apology of I will say I apologize, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> you know, regardless of if you've actually been sorry in nature, right? However, guys... I want you to understand the spiritual thing that I'm saying here in the please, thank you, and excuse me, meaning we have overlooked love. We have overlooked loving the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind. And I find that the Lord is using me as well as dealing with my own heart in showing me some practical things that are being overlooked by many believers. A lot of things that ch are children of God are neglecting and they're going to find themselves hearing depart from me so god is calling our attention to the things that we are overlooking even people who mean well they're overlooking certain things and the thing is pride is kicking in so guys i'm going to read to you what the lord gave to me uh, again pray about it and we should always seek god to do a heart check on every last one of us so this is the word that the Lord gave me not too long ago. And it says, a little leaven, a little leaven. You know, we heard that a little leaven, a little leaven spoils the whole lump. And what God is saying, there's a little leaven. It's the little foxes that spoils the vine. Focus is on the great works, lights, but overlooking the indiscretions being overlooked but overlooking the indiscretions deemed to be small. So let me read that again. Focuses on the great works, the lights, but overlooking the indiscretions deemed to be small. God, read, God reads all the fine prints of your heart, despite what you want to make bold and highlight before him. I'll say this again. God reads all the fine print of your heart, despite what we want to make bold and highlight before him. Common mistakes of many of God's children today. Gathering together in secret counsel, the Lord sees this. Plotting evil for righteousness sake, God has seen this. Saluting your brethren only, God has seen this. Unwillingness to suffer for the sake of the word. God has seen this. Unwilling to completely follow Jesus. God has seen this. Partiality. And in that, it means we're exposing some while turning blind eyes to others. God has seen this. Putting out the light of others because they do not conform to your ways. God has seen this. 
seeking high seats and scorning others deemed lower in status. God has seen this. You are so esteemed, you are no longer humble. You dare not sit with the crowd. God has seen this. Trying to put new wine in old bottles, meaning desiring power of God, desiring the power of God without change of heart. God has seen this. Ridicule. You ridicule, mock, downgrading others not approved of by the majority of the acceptable circle. Ridicule, mock, downgrading others not approved of by the majority of the acceptable circle. God has seen this. And this is what the Lord said to me. Many have created their own cross which has nothing to do with me. It's custom made to suit their lifestyle of sin and disobedience. It's paid sufferings, premeditated trials, feigned long suffering, all showmanship for the people and for added praise, esteem, exaltation, and power. Worldly, earthly power. I say that again. Many have created their own cross, which has nothing to do with me. It's custom made to suit their lifestyle of sin and disobedience, paid sufferings, premeditated trials, feigned long suffering, all showmanship for the people and for added praise, esteem, exaltation, and power, worldly, earthly power. They are saved in word only, but not in heart. Blind leading the blind. They are saved in theory, but within the heart proceeds evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, theft, false witnessing, blasphemies, not only physical, but worse, spiritually. The Lord is saying there are spiritual murders, spiritual adulteries, spiritual fornication, spiritual theft, false witnessing, blasphemies. Not only physical guys, but worse, this is being done spiritually. They are walking in such pride and disobedience. Walking in such pride and disobedience you will soon blaspheme the Holy Spirit and be damned for eternity. Walking in such pride and disobedience, those who continue to walk in such pride and disobedience, you will soon blaspheme the Holy Spirit and will be damned for eternity. How? This is what the Lord says. The demonic spirits you obey now will lead you straight to this grave unforgivable sin. And finally, the word is, if you hear the voice of God, do not resist his call. Repent while you can. This is the word of the Lord today, my brothers and sisters. Pray about it. Seek his face.